Join us now, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist and associate editor of The Washington Post and MSNBC political analyst Eugene Robinson. Gene's new column this morning is titled, Real Americans are a Myth. Don't you dare buy it. In it, Gene writes, the most offensive and corrosive idea in our politics today is that some Americans are more real than others. The whole point of democracy is that every citizen's voice is supposed to have equal weight. A third generation Kentucky coal miner and a goateed Brooklyn barista should have equal say in charting the course of the nation. Trump cleverly uses cultural, racial, and geographic markers to define who is real and who is not. And the Republican Party, to its eternal shame, has decided to go along. Enough. It's time to call out this ugly charade for what it is. Progressives have to speak to those left behind by wrenching economic and social chains, but our voices are as authentic and as worthy as anyone else's. I am a real American, too. Deal with it. Gene, good morning. Good to see you. Um, so what are you mm -hmm. pegging this to? What is it that the president said exactly that set yeah. off the column? And, and, you know, there was nothing. It's just, this is just a pet peeve, um, Willie. It's something that, that, that works on me. Um, and I just, um, sometimes these things just sort of build up until they really need to get written on a given day, apropos of nothing in particular that's going on in the news. Although I, I, I guess I did um, think back and, and mention in the column to the to the uh, the, the evening of the White House Correspondents Dinner when, when Matt Schlapp, and, uh, who's um, head of the American Conservative Union, and his wife Mercedes, who's the White House Director of Strategic uh, communications got so offended at the at the jokes uh, about the president and about Sarah Sanders that that they left the dinner and and she tweets um, uh, that uh, you know this is why everybody hates the out of touch elite um, um, uh, leftist media uh, and they, they 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 tweeted about elites while in a limousine on the way to the NBC after party um, uh, you know I mean uh, you know they're they're a nice couple. They just bought a $3 million house. They're um, uh, very successful. They're elite by any reasonable definition of the word. Yet we sort of let conservatives get away with this false notion that that <laughs> all of them are somehow real and all of us are somehow well, but, not. I, I, mean, I mean, Gene, what about, what about the talk show? Uh, talk radio hosts and talk mm -hmm. show hosts yeah. that that play uh, that play populist mm -hmm. uh, that yeah. make what that have made hundred a hundred million dollars. I mean, made more yeah, money. Exactly. Make, make make you and me look like pikers here. I, exactly, I mean, they're just, and they're but, and they're just regular guys. Power to and the people, you know, and I think I'll buy uh, you know like twelve <laughs> more apartment complexes uh, or whatever and. No, seriously, I, I, the, the stupidity of it all that we're supposed to take, first of all, Donald Trump is a populist and, and uh, these other clowns as populists mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, and, and they're somehow representing real America. When all, they're doing, when all they're actually doing is they're, 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 they're trying to figure out how to make more money for themselves. Exactly, and Gross. very successfully. I mean, you know, as, as, the, as that recent, uh, the, the China-Indonesia story you, you just told us about uh, tells yeah. us that at least the the Trump family is doing fine, and and, and in fact, uh, you know, all these folks are doing very well uh, under this uh, this regime. Uh, they got a tax cut that showers its benefits on on those who who, who well, already by, by, by are benefiting. By the way, Gene, on on that front, Donald Trump passes tax cuts. He goes down to Mar-a-Lago. Mm -hmm. He's sitting around the table with a bunch of billionaires, and he's sitting there at, at, at his at his mansion uh, mm -hmm. in uh, in Palm Beach, mm -hmm. and says, "Hey, I just made you all a lot of money." Yeah. Now, yeah. I, what I, I guess what I can't understand is, uh, I can't understand at what point do people wake up to the fact that what Donald Trump ran on, uh, mm -hmm. running against the entrenched elite, uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 at what point do they pick up on the fact? that he hasn't followed through on that. In fact, his mm -hmm. policies are the least populist policies, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in, in modern American history. If you look at the tax cut, if you look at mm -hmm. uh, just about everything else he's done economically. Plus, like you mm -hmm. said, he's lining his own pocket mm -hmm. uh, by doing deals yeah. with other countries. 
Well, you know, if I were um, if I were advising the Democratic Party, I would say, uh, you know, the first step in that is that is that Democrats have to um, stop have to stop buying into this notion that oh dear, we're out of so out of touch with the real America, and they're in somehow in touch. They're they're not really. They have managed to um, uh, to develop uh, the the sort of rhetorical uh, appeal and cultural right, but see, appeal. Wait, wait, wait. But, but Jean, the bigger question is why can't the Democrats do that? Why can't the Democrats? Well, why can't the Democrats? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just just for one second, stop being so out of touch with with people that I mean, all you have to do mm -hmm. is look at the counties yeah. that 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 went Democratic and all of the mm -hmm. counties that went Republican, and yeah. it really is. It's along the coastlines. It's in a couple of cities. And so, what, mm -hmm. this is a bigger question for Democrats. Well, Why are they so out of touch outside of urban centers? Well, you know, I have I have said when you you know when the dust settled from uh, from the 2016 election, people started asking, well, what what you know who's going to run in 2020 what's uh, you know how are they going to do that and and i've always said that this has to start from the ground up and i think you know if you look at the at the the candidates um, uh, democratic candidates that have been recruited across the country to run in the midterms and the sort of organ grassroots organizing that's going on um, I think that process may be underway now I don't want to be you know too sort of you know uh, overly um, I want to don't want to get ahead of what's right. actually happening we'll see the result but I think that's the way it happens I think it happens from the ground up I, I think one despairs that frankly that it would happen from the Top down, uh, given uh, the the failure of of um, you know Democrats in Washington right. uh, to do the obvious. Yeah. All right, Eugene Robinson, thank you so much. We'll be reading your latest piece in today's Washington Post. It's a great one. And coming up, reports of tension between the Trump and Pence teams. Is the president now dispatching one of his loyalists to help keep the vice president in check? Huh. Morning Joe is coming right back. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.